Yeah. All right, so what are we doing today? Okay, so uh, I decided to review this book called The Big Book of Paleo Cooking by Natalie Perry. Okay, sounds big. The Big Book of Paleo Slow Cooking. Uh, mm -hmm. it's, it's in the, either uh, in my blog mm -hmm. or you're watching from Amazon. So, you'll, you probably know the title better than I do. So anyway, I chose this recipe. This is tikka chicken okay. because it seemed pretty pretty easy, and I had most of the ingredients on hand. And what I ended up doing was I took because there's a marinade, okay. and then there's this red pepper sauce. And the thing is, I had no chicken, and I only had half the cumin that I needed. Okay. And I had no. Um, tomato paste. Okay. So, so you improvised. Yeah, no, I, I knew say. I was going to add them later. Okay. So I went ahead and made the marinade in one uh, container and then the red pepper sauce in another container and I froze them until the next few days when we were going to go to get the rest of the ingredients. I also had a bag of Trader Joe's cauliflower rice. Rice cauliflower. Cauliflower rice. Fantastic. Rice, rice cauliflower. Rice cauliflower. And so I, I did that. So, oh yeah, so the night before, uh, the night before, the night before is when I took out the two, the marinade and the sauce, and mm -hmm. I defrosted them. Then I added the chicken that we bought to the marinade and let that marinate overnight, and then I made it that next day, the okay. next day after the marinade, because you want to marinate it overnight. So this is how it turned out. You ready to try it? I'm ready. Let's see how good this recipe actually is. So it's kind of pretty, huh? Beautiful. Presentation. At first sight, it certainly looks authentic. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. Now let's see how it tastes. Now, as everyone knows, I never have the proper utensils, and I never cut anything exactly right. Yeah. I've actually gotten scolded on one of my reviews once. They were very annoyed that you weren't using your knife. And they had brought Well yeah, because I didn't give you one. Great. So So you now look I look like bad. a fool. You mm -hmm. set me up for failure. I did. Okay, let me help you out. And I, I laughed because I'm so what would you call me? Unconventional or I don't know. Unique, how about that? They used to call me UniQ in school. UniQ. Okay. And I also chose this wine. I can't tell you what kind it is because that would be like, I think you're not supposed to do that. Okay. Let's definitely get that covered up. Thank Over you. That. Ooh, look right. how good I do. Okay. And these are really pretty um, Beautiful. flowers we got at Creighton there. No. World Market. No. no. Table in the sewer. I'm sorry. You see, do not bring a World Market because world I'm market. just going to tell you their dishes. The reason they're so inexpensive is it's like, okay, you're going to use them a couple times and then they chip or break. But then again, never mind. Everything breaks. Yeah, let's, let's talk about the food. This is why oh, we're yeah. here. Okay, so the I'm wine here. I chose, what kind of wine is this? Oh, what absolutely. Is this but don't is, tell um, them the name. I won't what tell them the name, but it's a uh, 2016 Mendoza Torrantes. Uh, Apparently pairs excellent. Here we go. This is what I'm with, looking um, for. With this type of meal. I hope I shave. I'm so sorry. Hey, just pretend that you're here with us. You're right here because there's a chair. I'm just looking up because you're very tall. Right, exactly. Okay, so or you're, you're sitting on a uh, <laughs> a unicycle. Yellow which is butterfly. Very still. Yes. But Cheers. you can't see because it's behind you. Back to the food. <laughs> We tend to drink first, but wine is really supposed to complement the food. Very good. Oh my gosh, we're going to try this recipe now. Let's do it. And for those that just wanted to, you know, to see what it, oh, I guess I should have shown them what it really looked like up close. I could bring my plate up. We'll get close-ups later on. Okay. How about that? I also took a couple pictures. Okay. So oh I'm my gosh. It. So this marinade should have um, flavor the chicken like really well. There's one thing I didn't add. That? I don't think they, maybe they told me to. Salt. Salt and pepper, optional. Yeah, but 
And the salt would really make this just pop, right? Mm hmm Other than that, so it's more like it's really saucy. Um, I'm not like it's um remember this is paleo, so it's super healthy. I can really taste garlic, even though it's been like in that slow cooker. Mm -hmm. The cauliflower is great. I mean, you can taste everything. I like the spices. I like the flavor. Uh, I like the texture, actually, of the, um, the cauliflower rice. I mean, mm -hmm. the rice cauliflower. Mm -hmm. And but I do agree with you. A little salt. Yeah. Probably. I'm sure the recipe calls for it. But it's it. very. I'm so sorry. I mean, it's really flavorful. Yeah. If you don't put salt on it, I mean, now we got to taste it with the wine. See if we were right. Okay, you know what? Perfectly. Doesn't it? Yeah. So for this particular...